November 8th and 9th, Monday and Tuesday, the sun is in Scorpio and the moon's in Capricorn. I love this combination. I want you just to think simple astrology. Scorpio is a water sign. It is known for focus. Scorpio has the gift of being able to hold their energy and not Budge. So they can stay long hours, they can work overtime. They're the ones that you can promise when you hire them, they'll get the job done. Then you add moon in Capricorn, the workaholic syndrome, the earth sign that wants only the best. Well, you can imagine on Monday and Tuesday, you are going to be focused and you're going to be wanting to get something done. There's no planets in fire that won't distract. People often confuse Scorpio for a fire sign because they have get up and go. They don't have the tolerance for mediocrity. Now, moon and Capricorn, obviously workaholic, they're extreme. Both these signs are extreme. So either Monday, Tuesday, you're going to wake up going, wow, I can feel the Scorpio Capricorn discipline is in place. I've got motivation. Or Scorpio Capricorn can be very self-destructive. And some people have this tendency of Scorpio Capricorn where they get lazy and they're sitting on the couch and they've got potato chips in the dog. There's no planets in fire. So I want to hear which one it went for you. There has been a T-square in the sky and sun opposite Uranus squaring Saturn. See the T? This has been going on forever and it will continue to. When you see in a chart red lines like that, a big red line in the middle and a third one with 90 degrees, all it stands for is T is tension. So this is the gift during Monday and Tuesday is the sun's in Scorpio, the moon's in Capricorn. There's tension in the sky, but there's focus. And every time something goes wrong in life where things are really bad, it's only an opportunity to see if you can use, this is what Scorpio Capricorns thrive on problems. They thrive on solving problems. They are builders. Their ability to stay the course and not get bored. That's what I'm asking of you Monday and Tuesday. Let the energy build. And guess whose birthday it is? November 9th is Carl Sagan, who's done an incredible feat, Scorpio, so Scorpio, to focus his life's work. And because the sun's opposite Uranus, part of that T-square, it's been going on now for two weeks until the 14th, it's an electrical current. This is my obsession with climate crisis and Carl Sagan giving us the big picture. That's a Scorpio Capricorn conversation. What are we doing about the topic that no one wants to speak about, Capricorn. I'll talk about it, Scorpio. Let's focus. Carl Sagan, why don't you study? Part of my invitation on my platform is we have some documentaries, Choose Earth. We have Kiss the Earth by Woody Harrelson. Go ahead and watch them. There are so many. There's one called Tomorrow. We must focus on that. Thank you for mentioning Carl Sagan because it means on November 9th, his birthday, we all have a scientist that lives inside of us who wants nothing more than to focus. And then we all have a lazy side that goes, oh, it doesn't matter. It does matter. That's why I'm here. Astrology Answers brought me to tell you your life force and your ability to stay awake and stay alert and stay in the game makes all the difference in the world.